looks like oh goodness me oh goodness oh man do you see all of this you see the clothing <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious, you guys went shopping for me. How kind. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last episode, we received the Master Sword, and then we promptly used it to slaughter many enemies. It was great. This episode, we're probably going to continue doing the uh, whole slaughtering thing, but we're also going to make a sacrifice here at this altar. You see, we are at Satori Mountain. And apparently if you offer a fruit sacrifice to the basin here at the foot of the Sakura tree, oh, well, something good is supposed to happen. So here you go. The braying of a horse is heard in the distance. I thought it was not a horse. It was... Okay, yeah, it's exactly what I remember. It was called, like, the like the Spirit of the Forest or something like that in Breath of the Wild. Maybe it was called Satori as well. But it's showing us all of the caves in the area. Neat. Okay, how long does that last? Oh, wait, can I have this apple? You don't need the apple, right? I got it. <laughs> they only needed to see the apple. Once the apple was gone, or already seen, then they left as well. Interesting. It would have been nice to have, uh, I don't know, spoken to them? Pet them? Rode them, perhaps? So these locations that are glowing are caves, if I understand this correctly. And I don't necessarily know... Well, that's like a hole. Interesting. I don't know that I have or haven't visited these. But I'm going to mark them all real quick, or at least as close as I can. And then we'll see. Let's get this one now. Oh my goodness, I'm pressing all the buttons! <laughs> I can remember how to play the game, I swear. It's only been 24 hours since I recorded last. You'd think it'd be a little easier than that. So, at Mount Daphnis... Ah, uh, no, we got nothing there. Over here at North Hyrule Plain Cave... We've already completed it, so yes. Now, I'm curious, does this mean this is here? Or did I mismark it? I'm gonna leave that for now. And this potentially also mismarked. And there was one more. One, two. Oh, oh, it was off in the same general direction as Daphnis. Or North, Hy North Hyrule Plain, excuse me. Interesting. So I don't know 100% that I did that correct. I mean, this one assuredly is not correct. In fact, this is the one that we were in yesterday. This is the Satori Mountain Cave. So whichever one was marked, I think... Is it yellow? Yeah, that can that can go away. We don't need you, buddy. And that shrine, okay. I was like, we haven't done the shrine. We did the shrine yesterday too, goodness sakes. My memory failing me earlier than normal, it would seem. And it looks like these lights stick around for a while. Wait, there's one over there too? Is it really everyone? Holy cow, forever? Amazing. Maybe we should go this way. I don't think I've... The, the the delight forest. The reason I'd like to go this way instead, and I can honestly just get rid of these, especially now that I know that I could just warp back here, right up at the, at the Satori Mountain and turn that on. I just don't want these cluttering my map. Uh, I'm going to go over here because I haven't really explored this region a whole lot. And as we've known and we've talked about ad nauseum now, Got to get all these light roots. Got to get all these shrines that I do have means of doing so. But I also still want to kind of explore the game in an organic or at least relatively organic fashion. You hear that beeping? Got a shrine around us somewhere. It looks like my hunch was correct. Or at least sort of correct. Oh, look. There it is. Or at least where it would be. I wonder if we're going to have to enter this cave to grab the crystal itself. Probably. Who's that? It's a Bokoblin. Okay, we are at the Uzasum. I'm a Uza some salt. I'm a Uza some pepper. I'm a Uza some garlic pepper. When I cook tonight, I'm a Uza some of all those. Seek the crystal, please and thank you. I would love to. Show me. Show me the crystal. Let me fling about my weapon in much glee. Lo and behold, the crystal is indeed in the cave, although it's seemingly below the entrance to it, so there's going to be a little bit of an adventure getting it out. 
Undoubtedly so, because if we got to climb, well, you can't climb when you've got a giant friggin' crystal in your hand. Satori Mountain Foothill Cave. Oh. The beam shoots right through it. Okay. It's a little ominous. It's kind of a large room. It makes me feel like there should be a demon in here or something. Oh, lo and behold, there is. And he's got the crystal? What are you doing walking around with my crystal, Poopy? You're going to make me throw my friend at you. And do you really want that? I mean, you probably do, which is why you have that here, to lure someone like me over to your beautiful foot to smack it. I'm going to bust that bracer right off you. Maybe. It's kind of a strong bracer. Okay, I'm going to go this way, and you're going to take the bracer off. No? All right, I'm going to poke you in the eye. I'm going to poke you in the eye. Oh, there goes your eye. I'll get this other foot. This foot doesn't have the bracer. This foot has the weak spot. And now I have the crystal. Feels to me like that was something that was perhaps intended to be achieved earlier in the game. The hell I'll read you. Very good. Wait, where'd the crystal go? Wow, it bounced way over here. Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> That's a bouncy crystal. Yes, yeah, a bouncy crystal. And it's probably not going to be all that difficult to take it out of here. Although... Can't help but wonder if there's more to this place than what we've just seen. More than meets the eye, perhaps. Well, there's a truffle. That's more than meets the eye. Oh, and a bomb flower? Oh, goodness. Very good. But maybe nothing else, because it does look like it kind of encircles. Well, hold on. Let's, let's leave this right here by the exit. Ugh. My curiosity, it's too much. I've got to come look and see for myself. Because goodness gracious, if we have to return here to find, like, clothing or something at a later date, I'll be, I don't know, mildly inconvenienced at best. But still, but still, we'd want to avoid that, if at all possible. And it does look like there's more here. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll trudge forward. Begrudgingly. Oh, and a bubble frog. Look at that. It was worth it because it seems like this is the end. Bubble frogs don't tend to hang out in anything but dead ends, which is why they have reached their end. And it's a dead one, too. <laughs> Everything will perish, I think. Oh, no, Reed, you fine. You can shoot this. I think this will be my 50th bubble gem. Survey says, yeah, yes, it sure is. Desperately need to go do something with those. Um, people have been letting me know in the comments. And I'll get to it eventually because they're like over this direction somewhere. We'll, we'll get over there. We'll get over there. Anyways, we. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anyways, no, 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 no. I was about to, about to leave, but goodness gracious, I can't leave without my flint. All right, we've already seen that we know a Goron who can suck the ripeness right out of one, and then he'll give us a thousand rupees. All right, and that's a, that's a, that's a good rate. All right, that's a very good rate. That's a lot of flint, though. Honestly, I would have hoped for at least one gem. Just to, I don't know, just for diversity's sake. And where did our, our thing go? Can we go up there? Oh, we can. Hold on just a wee moment there. I've got an itch in my belly, and it's telling me to come up here. Ooh, ooh, the itchy belly has done it good. What do we get? Arrows or something? Silver rupee. That's a hundred dollars. That's like. I don't know, 20 arrows at the store. And there's our crystal. The crystal has moved. This crystal was not over here, was it? I feel like the crystal was by the opening. The crystal is sentient. The crystal is insolent. Okay, the crystal needs to be disciplined. The crystal needs a firm hand, a.k.a. the ultra hand. And we've got it for it because we're going to carry this crystal out there. We're going to be disciplined in front of all of its peers, embarrassing it. For embarrassing us, really. No, okay, there we are. Now, can you roll down the hill? That's helpful. Moderately, maybe. Actually, significantly. Look at that. Look at how it tumbles. Look at how it rotates. Ooh, goodness gracious. Look at how the lightning sets the grass ablaze. <laughs> Ooh. Good thing we don't have anything electric on our person, right? Mm, something may have just sparked. I don't know. Uh, we'll get inside the shrine here in short order. So that should hopefully protect us. I mean, it will protect us, but hopefully we get in there quick enough to where that's not going to be a problem at all. Yep, yep, we're electric inside. <laughs> I can't be messing around with that, no sir. 
I, I've got my fill of electromagnetism in electricity in general, and her name is Riju. Okay, I don't need Thor himself raining down his vengeance upon my poor Hylian bod. Raru's blessing, thank you. Quoting treasure. Treasure with the Mighty Zonite Spear, attack up seven. That's not bad, especially for a poker. In fact, I think I have a Captain Construct Four Horn that would go well on top of that. Um, I think I'm going to fuse that right now, just so that I don't forget. <laughs> Goodness sakes knows that I oftentimes go a little bit too long without fusing the weapons that I do have, and therefore find myself involved in all sorts of, well, problematic situations where I don't have weapons that I do need. I mean, case in point, yesterday. <laughs> when I was dying against the Moblins, I didn't exactly have the right equipment for it because of the rainstorms, the thunderstorms. What do we have equipped here? It's our sword. Of course it is. But if we equip the poker, we should be fine, right? Lo and behold, that is the case. Now, the Captain Construct 4. Get on the floor. Walk the dinosaur. Just attach yourself. Boom. Shakalaka. That's a 60. That's pretty nifty. I don't want to use its effectiveness just yet. I probably just don't want to even use it at all if I don't have to. Now, look at this map. That's pretty glorious, if I do say so myself. There are a lot of shrines. Where is the least dense area? Kind of like right where we're at. This is pretty sparse. Then a little bit north, Hyrule Ridge, also sparse. And then Hebra, remarkably sparse. I really didn't spend a whole lot of time in Hebra. After doing the Rito Village quest, I just kind of, see you later. I'm going to go over here and do this stuff. So I think that really in, in earnest, the northwestern quadrant of the map is probably my best bet for overall shrininess. In fact, the direction Link is facing right now is the direction I want to go. If we can just waltz through this direction, we'll undoubtedly come across some things that we haven't seen before. Uh, and, at, and at least one shrine. I hope. I don't know. You know what we could do instead, or not instead, but go like this. So that's a shrine. Ooh. Ooh, that's a shrine. There's a shrine right there. You can't hide from me, you dastardly swine. Get rid of this. There's one right here. Hey, oh, yeah. No, I was like, is there one in the sky? It could be in the sky. It very well could. I don't know. That's kind of like floating about aimlessly. And then one right here. Three shrines, all for mines. Anything? Mm -mm -mm. So we have one marked here, one light route that is, which is fitting because we just did that shrine. Now, if we're going to pursue these ones, though, I think it would make the most sense to come over to the Otusum, Otutsum, Otutsum shrines, just so that we can float down and hopefully get a good bird's eye view. You know, sometimes you need to see things through someone else's eye to really appreciate their experiences. Sometimes you need to see something through a bird's eye to appreciate how the the bird sees it. I don't know why we want to commiserate with the avians, but we do want their vantage point. Ultimately, that's the goal here. And look at this. The aura persists for the caverns. That's amazing. That can't be a, a full-time thing, right? I mean, I honestly kind of hope it's not. Not necessarily because it's, like, game-breaking or anything, but because it's... Ah, you cold! Don't punch me with your frozen fist! Goodness gracious. I'm going over here. Yeah, slap them, Monero. Slap them for spanking me! I'm going to be up here! Can you guys deal with these things? No? No, you require fruit. Okay, well, I have fruit. Here, eat up. You cheech humongous. Come here. Everyone needs some fruit today, don't they? It's a Fruit Fest 2023. All right. That didn't kill them, though. That didn't kill them. That just made them not cold anymore. Giblets, come here. You you still alive? Stop that. Stop being alive. That's illegal. Yes, poke his upside-down body. Everyone gang up on the children. Now, you know, Bo, can you be flaming, flaming hot for me here? Kill that thing. Oh, well, that's good enough, too. You didn't. Whatever it decoolify de it, but you killed it. And that worked, you know. There we go, you nobo. Very well done. One more here. One more child that wishes to slumber. There we go. On it. Do a number. You nobo. 
Yunobo, this is a job for you. Your unique talents. Yunobo's not even listening. Yunobo's about to walk the other way. There we go. Anyways, now before we were so rudely interrupted, I was talking about the aura emanating from the caverns. I do kind of hope it goes away. Just because it... I don't know. It, it It's kind of fun to explore and find them. You know what I'm saying? Like we just explored and found this chest. What is this? Got the set tolling off, goodness gracious. We've got three mirrors. Interestingly enough, there looks to be something right there that could use a mirror. If we do this. Hey, well that worked out. <laughs> what timing, huh? We probably came here at the exact right time of day because Link is just a crazy bugger like that, all right? He's got the sixth sense to know when, oh goodness gracious, he's got the sixth sense to nearly plunge off the cliff. I need to him. Thank you. <laughs> I need my bird friend very much. If I'm going to be doing anything crazy like that, i got to have my bird boy with me. Now, what is this? Discovery. Statue of the Eighth Heroin Ca- Oh, no, it's you. Hello, you've got mail. And it's electric. Very good. Thank you. You really should keep up on your inbox, all right? It's going to get overwhelming. I'm going to overwhelm all of you. Maybe... Looks like, oh goodness, me? Oh goodness. Oh man, do you see all of this? You see the clothing. <laughs> oh goodness gracious, you guys went shopping for me. How kind. Anyways, I'm going to harvest this stone real quick. When did I fuse a moblin head to a junky old claymore? Did I do that? Oh man, I must have. That's... Seems wildly out of character. But hey, I guess crazier things have happened. Anyways, Riju, I need you. Riju. You know Bo's the only one that wants to come hang out. Riju, where the, there, come here, girl. Goodness gracious. You've got the unique talents that I need to assail these hideous beasts. Look at them. Their rib cages cannot continue to exist any longer. That only got one of them. Fascinating. Well, good thing we've got all this fruit in our pants. I'm here. It's enough for everyone. Eat up, children. Oh, my bow. My bow done broke. Well, it's okay. Because the strength of the bow is not necessarily what's important here. It's the... You know, it's not the the size of the lake or the motion of the ocean or whatever. It's the amount of voltage you can squeeze directly into your enemy's brains. And that was plenty. Goodness gracious, we made short work of them and we got a ton of bones. Now we need a fan. Oh, look. How kind. How absolutely... What? Oh, that was weird. I could have sworn it went, like, up in the air. Either which way. It's here, and now it can... We, we can whistle for our horse so that our horse can, can come watch us blow the sand. Everyone knows opponent's favorite pastime is watching sand get blown everywhere. All right? Little known Zelda lore fact for you. So there's our treasure, our clothing. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, very excited. See, this is the joy of exploration. What is this? A ruby. Nice. We wouldn't have we wouldn't have found this without just tumbling about aimlessly. I mean, uh, ass assuming yes, eventually we would. But I mean, we wouldn't have found it in such an organic fashion. It wouldn't have felt as good as it felt to do it like that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about you, but that felt neat to me. And we got... Oh, oh yes. It's my hat. It's my hat. It's Tingle. It's my hat. It's for me. It was always meant to be. My goodness. Can you freaking believe it? Oh, I'm so happy. Get out of the frame, you know, bro. This is Link's moment. Look at that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, I am tickled pink. Oh, the fairy boy himself, Tingle, drawing maps and losing his hat in caves. I have a Tingle plush on my desk right next to me right now. I absolutely love Tingle. Always have, ever since first meeting him in Majora's Mask, and then, of course, moving on into the Wind Waker, and then the subsequent games, really, he had an ever-growing presence in them. I believe he was even in Oracle of Seasons and Ages in some minute capacity. But... After his introduction in Majora's Mask, I've always loved him. He's so quirky. He's so... I don't know. <laughs> he's just... He's my guy. And now we get his hat. 
which of course means that we get his whole gosh darn outfit. And how friggin' exciting is that, huh? That's friggin' sweet. And hopefully, just as sweet as if we get a nice little shrine tree. Ooh. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Right where the marker is. Mmm. Almost like we knew it would be there. I don't know why I'm so surprised. I mean, a surprise probably isn't the best way of putting it, but I'm tickled. What is that? Is that a car? Well, I mean, we don't we don't need a car. We don't need any wheels, but I don't know. A joyride sounds all right. And look at this. It's complete with a steering shaft as well. It was put here for us. It said, anyone coming by here with a beautiful tingle hood may take this vehicle. Please drive it as you should. We will trust that you are possessing the prior proper licensure, of course, and certifications. Yes, of course. Everyone knows that Link's got his CDL. And he's gonna yell as he drives down here. Wait. Well... I guess this works in some capacity. <laughs> We're going. We're going. Oh, wait. Maybe we need to turn around? I mean, I just noticed the wheels are like a, a funky direction. Mostly the one wheel that I put there. But it's okay. We can make this work in some capacity. As long as we orient Link properly. Can we, can we get back on there? No? Okay, I, mm, I see how it is, you insolent machine. You want to deny me the privilege of steering you. I will have you be steered. All right. There is no... No question it. It, it, it. it has to be done. Now that the steering shaft has turned the proper direction, we still have one gimpy wheel, but... That's okay. They cannot resist our... Descent. What is that? The soccer ball? See you later. We're going this way. Yeah! Woo! Kill the keys! Oh god, the keys killed me! <laughs> I've been killed! Except, well, not killed. I've been injured. I've been maimed. I've been harmed. And I'm not the same without all of my HP. So, I'll just, you know, take my leave. That scared me. I thought that windmill was like a big thing. Which would have been cool. Now we. Ooh! The Gasis Shrine. Very good. I mean, we have had a, r a remarkably, mostly solid shrines. I do suppose we were due for a gaseous one at some point or another. Uh, but all things in seriousness now, I am gassy. So this is fitting. Well-timed cuts at the Gassa Shrine. Well-timed cuts, you say? Hmm. Hmm. It would seem that a cut is to be made here. Oh, yes. Truly. Very, very well-timed. Very, very well-timed. <laughs> okay, well, uh, continuing on. Ah, the treasure chest swings. We've got to create our own elevator here. So we're going up there. And it's going to just sit there for a little bit. And it's going to come back. And go there. Recall. I think that, I mean, it's got, I, mean, I don't know what this has to do with cuts at all. Oh, goodness. Why did, well, no, 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 gosh darn it. Oh, we caught it. We caught it. Hey, look at that. Barely by the, the hairs of the cube's chin. You didn't know that metallic cubes had hairs, did you? No, it's very, very fine, very thin, very oh, borderline invisible hairs, in fact. But they're there. They're there, and look at this. We're here with this bridge. The shrine feels a little simple thus far. Um, I guess it's going to get a little bit more challenging here now that we've reached this. Oh, we need a key. We've got two cubes, two pieces of metal, sheet metal, I guess. This, that. So we don't even need to time the cut here. We just need to cut it and have it drop on that. Yay. Excellent timing. I guess. <laughs> oh, it's a char. Mm, okay. Excuse me. Here I am. Joking, but I didn't even have the right of it. I have the wrong chest. That chest can go rot in the pit. We need this chest up here. Presumably. 
So if we just attach that, give us a little cut here. And come on over. You are the chest for me. I will not rest without thee. I am happy I could be. I got the small key. Very nice. Now we have the ability to exit this room and move on into the next layer of the dungeon or shrine, rather. Let me through, let me through. Hmm. A ball? But where hole? Where do hole? How do hole? Why do hole? This is hole. Okay, well. This one I will do, I think, as the game intends, via a slight swaying action. And chop. Boom shakalaka. No influence whatsoever. Look at how the ball rolls plummeting down into the hole. Just get it. Get, no, I'm in the hole. Well, I'm in the hole. <laughs> Link's about to get killed. Cheech among us. Very good. Mission success. We got the shrine and the chest. What was the chest? Did we get the chest? We got the chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, there was two chests in the prior room. Goodness gracious. A memories. Not... Uh, not in top form today. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we're, we're making it work little by little. And we have now three quarters of enough to reach another layer. So what is our maximum capacity here then? Because it wasn't too long ago that I was only 50 shrines away from completion. And I've done, I want to say close to 10 cents then. So I don't know that we have a whole lot more than 40, if not less. And that wouldn't be enough for me to fill out the entirety of my two layers of hearts there, would it? It's interesting. I mean, that wasn't the case in Breath of the Wild either, right? You couldn't have a maxed out stamina wheel and a maxed out set of hearts. But I want to. I do. I do want it. <laughs> and I guess there are quests, like uh, the Call from the Depths, <clears throat> that gave us, they rewarded us with a heart container or a, or a stamina wheel, if we so chose. Of course, we, we could not choose such a reward now because we have the aforementioned maxed out stamina wheel. But that being said, I wonder if there are more quests like that that will reward us with a heart container and then help us max out said heart. Yes. <laughs> God, can't forget the yes. Anyways, uh, this one by Nero Hill? Isn't that a... Roman Emperor, I think, or was that a city in Rome? Uh, Nero and Rome go together in my brain for reasons unknown to me, all right? I haven't taken a European history class in a long time. <laughs> Not since college. Jiminy Christmas, I'm in my 30s. It's been a while. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. It doesn't really matter anywhere. Ooh. Something interesting up there. What is that? Is it? Oh, hey! Well, fancy seeing you! here, my little rocky friend. You know, I was just thinking it's been a long time since I called him. You know, I saw his mother at the supermarket. She said he was doing all right. They said he was getting high all the time. And oh, look at this. You're doing it again right in front of me. Good job. I'm very thankful for it. Anyways, we're going to use this man's highness to contact the Korok puzzle, it would seem. These ones shoot off something. I don't remember if it's a race or if it's the arrow. Um, oh, it's neither. You just have to, like, land on these, I think. Coming in for a crash. Well, maybe not. We're coming in for a smooth landing. <laughs> Wee! Or, well, <laughs> quote-unquote smooth. Quote-unquote smooth. We're breaking our knees, our femurs, and our shins. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, what's a little bit of bone and ligament damage to save a friend, huh? Who wouldn't? Who could say they wouldn't shatter their femur just to rescue someone? I mean, really, depending on the rescue, you, I'd like to think that we'd be willing to, you know, put ourselves through a little bit of discomfort, if not outright harm, to save the people we love. But hey, maybe we're all not heroes. Goodness sakes. It's easy to say that, isn't it, right? <laughs> oh, if faced between jumping out of a burning building, would you actually do it? I'd like to think I would. All right, so our marker is over here. But I'm not yet getting any beepage. My beeper is relatively beepless. This hole has a rock in it, though, and the rock is grabbable. Why is that the case? What secrets do you hide? You get back. You try and get back in the hole. 
got a magnetic appeal. Who's for? What's going on down there? What's this? Someone having a party? Oh, he killed a man! Move, move, Rock! I can't see. There is a dead person at the feet of this Bokoblin. That is not allowed. Get, get wrecked, son, in slow motion. You must be punished. You're going to have the acupuncture treatment all up and down your body. It's actually not doing all that much damage, so maybe I should just come down here and stab him. Yeah, that was markedly better. Uh, come on. Very good. You, you got to go, man. You should. If you didn't want this to happen, you should have thought of that before you killed someone in front of me. Get rid of this tree branch. Oh, gracious. Okay, now, can we help this person? No. They are dazed and confused. Okay, well. It's okay. Just, uh, give them, I don't know, give them, give them some food, and maybe they'll be all right. Here, here's an apple. There you go. Now, let's continue on. I got some beepage. Some beepage. I think that's this shrine, though. Yellow one. Blue one's closer, so we'll continue to go up here, and there might even be a stable up here, because I do see smoke rising. And obviously, that's indicative of some fire action. Where there's fire, there's typically people. I mean, I'm drawing all sorts of conclusions here. Hear me out. I think they're all right. Ultimately, we'll get a chance to see, and there does look to be enemy encampments nearby as well, so maybe it's not... Look at this, though. This is like architecture. I want to go up that pathway. We'll go up that pathway here after we check this out, though. Uh, no, this is not a stable. What is this? It's a smoldering pit. What? What is this? Very interesting. Hello! You fall in here? Oh, 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 hey, you come all down here to rescue me? Uh, it's a rescue. Uh, Why, thank you. I was headed for Rito Village, which is suffering through a fierce blizzard to cheer them up with music and supplies. I got my wagon going at a pretty good clip down this road, but then I suddenly drove into this hole. It's never been here before. The horse I was riding ran off somewhere and my cargo has spoiled. The only thing I have left is my wagon. Ooh. I haven't figured out how to get both me and my wagon out of this hole, and I won't leave it behind. Which leaves me stuck here, plain and simple. Ooh. I'd rather starve than leave this wagon. I'm relieved that someone came to rescue me, but I hope you have a plan to free me from this hole. The Hornist's Dramatic Escape. Are you... Are you friends with the other musicians? A soothing sound of that horn of yours. Very good. Yeah, look at Link. Link is truly the epitome of a hero, right? Truly. I mean, the 14-foot-long the spear is probably the, the scariest part of his ensemble there. But anyways, can we just attach these directly to the cart? Oh, we can. We can indeed. But I wonder, actually, could we put one there? Flame emitter? Flame emitter! So this should rise the cart up, ideally. And then we make this one for him and I, and then we can fly? He's freaking out. I stopped him. He's like, oh my god! <laughs> He's picking up balloons! What's the meaning of this? I've been in here with these two balloons for two months, and I haven't thought of once using them to escape because I am a simple man who thinks only of horns. I don't blow balloons. I blow brass. All right, I've got... I've got some rides for you. Get get in the wagon. Well, what? You can actually make this happen. Okay. Well, let's hope you know what you're doing, man. What have you done to my wagon? There's nowhere for me to sit. Oh, man. You are a fella, aren't you? Fine. Get in the wagon. <laughs> get in the wagon. I'll attach things to it, all right? Get in the wagon. There we go. Oh, man. Oi! I'm in your wagon, ready to go. All right, buddy. Now, I'm just gonna... This is not moving very... It... Because the flame emitter? Catch it. Teach among us. All right, now... There we go. Now, get up there. That's dangerous! 
Look at how he rises up. Now we need to get here before he like takes off. <laughs> before he flies away to the freaking China. We better stop him. All right. Goodness sakes. All right, where is he coming up from? Where is he? Oh no, he fell. Oh, too dangerous. I'm falling out. Golly gee Willaker. Golly gee Willaker. I didn't even see him, man. Oh no. Come now, just stay in the wagon, why don't you? If you want to leave with the wagon, you may as well just exist in the wagon. Take a nap, lie down. It's oh. fine. And the flame emitter gone? Can we recall it up? Looks like we might be able to. Um, I cannot tell if the flame emitter is... Okay, the flame emitter is still there. Cool. Well, I'm going to get up this time before I turn my machine on. All right, because I don't need to have you disappearing again. And probably close enough right here to grab it once it gets up here, right? Very good. Let me just grab this. That's hot. Yes, it is, buddy. Just like you. I get up here. Look at you riding in style. Don't you feel silly? Whoa, I'm out of the hole. Oh, oh. Isn't it amazing? Just positively blowing your mind. <laughs> wow, I'm finally out. <laughs> I got so nervous I fogged up my glasses and missed what you did. But you did it. You actually did it. Thank you so much. If you hadn't come along, I don't know how much longer I would have been in that hole. Come to think of it, if I haven't made such a rash decision during the earliest days of the upheaval and run off my troop, maybe things wouldn't have ended up like this. I mean, the supplies I collected to help feed Rito Village all have spoiled by now anyways. <sighs> I should get back to the stable trotters and rejoin my bandmates. That will do more good. Oh, you've met the troop leader? So the stable trotters are back together. Mm. This is great news. I've been itching to put my skills on the horn to good use. After I return this wagon I borrowed, I'm going to rejoin the troop. There are so many people who would benefit from hearing us play. Oh, oh one more thing. Take this, please. It's a cooking ingredient I picked up from my travels. It's the least I can do for you getting me out of there. You got three beehives. Yeah. And now I'd better be on my way. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again. I look forward to playing my horn for you. I look forward to it too. Because that's going to be key uh, to pleasing one final great fairy. Which I believe is actually this one? This one? She's like, I won't come out till I hear a horn. We've got a horn for you now, lady. But we've got a little bit of ground to cover until we get there. And a little bit of time too. Time that has since expired on the duration of this episode. So thank you so very much for watching. I sincerely do appreciate it, and I hope that you enjoyed yourself. With that said, I'll see you tomorrow.